That should give you, okay. So what's next in the trial? Everybody's wondering about what is next for Monday, right? Let me pull my thing up here. Hang on, I gotta put this down. Ah. Where is my slideshow? Okay, so let's see if this is going to turn it on that screen. No, I've got to do it manually for some reason. Okay, so what's going on? The defense for the confessed child killer Tim Jones Jr. rested their case late Friday afternoon. State rebuttal witness is expected to testify at 8.45 a.m. on Monday. And this should be followed by closing arguments and the judge's instructions before the jury begins deliberating Jones's guilt or innocence. And he's not going to be innocent, but he's going to be guilty by reason of insanity or guilty by reason of mental illness or just guilty. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Jones Jr. is not testifying, okay? He, um, Jones stood up in a Lexington court after they, the jury left Friday and he told Judge Eugene Griffith he would not take the, stance, the stand in his defense. If found guilty, Jones faces the death penalty for murdering Mira 8, Ilya 7, Natan 6, Gabriel 2, and Elaine Abigail 1 in their Red Bank home, August 28, 2014. A penalty phase of the trial would follow with more witness testimony if he is found guilty. Timothy Jones Jr. has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. So two psychiatrists testified Jones Jr. was insane on Friday. Two psychiatrists tested, testified Friday that Jones was insane the night of the murders. Department of Corrections Chief Psychiatrist Dr. Beverly Wood Oops, I forgot to turn your slide. I'm sorry. Oops, so sorry. Dr. Beverly Wood said she diagnosed Jones with schizoaffective disorder when Jones arrived at Kirkland Correctional Institute Maximum Security Unit. Schizoaffective disorder is a chronic mental health condition characterized by hallucinations, delusions, mania, and depression. Dr. Woods, Dr. Wood met with Jones constantly over four years and prescribed him antipsychotic and mood stabilizing medications. Jones tested positive for synthetic marijuana or spice in his system after his arrest in Mississippi, September 2014. Wood said, I believe he has a mental illness. It could have been exacerbated by drug use. You almost always have to take someone's word when they are hallucinating, which she did with Jones. She also thought Jones was not feigning insanity. Jones has a history dating back to age 15 with alcohol and other drugs, including ecstasy, cough syrup, marijuana, spice, and cocaine. Cocaine was his drug of choice, but he, did, but he didn't use it the most, she said. As a state employee, Wood is not being paid for her testimony, she said. Is that something fell there? Hang on, I've got to change your slide. I'll remember this time. And the second doctor, forensic psychiatrist, Dr. Julie Dorney, said Jones did not realize the legal wrongness in using corporal punishment and extreme physical exercises to punish six-year-old Natan. Jones said he later found the boy dead in his bed. He admitted he then strangled his other four children to death. With the other four, he did not have the capacity to, to distinguish between moral right and moral wrong. Dorney has yet to invoice state taxpayers for her work. She said it will be at least 30,000, even at a 25% government discount. Spice was a significant contribution to his paranoia, she said. Jones showed psychotic symptoms from schizophrenia and manic symptoms from bipolar disorder, she said. Both experts contradicted the independent psychiatrist. That other doctor goes on to say, with his head injury and spice, all four of them come to a head the night of the murders. She also diagnosed Jones with schizoaffective disorder. 
Both experts contradicted testimony of independent court-appointed forensic psychiatrist Dr. Richard Frierson on Thursday. He testified that Jones knew that the night of the 2014 killings what was legally and morally right and wrong. Jo Jones thought he was morally justified to strangle his other four kids after Natan's death, Dorney said. Dorney said. Jones believed he was going to prison and his ex-wife wouldn't take care of the kids. He believed they would be better off in heaven than without parents, she said. With a reasonable amount of certainty, Jones is not fooling me, she said. 